Well, tonight's subject is entitled Embracing the Fear of Chronic Pain. Chronic pain comes with fear. It also comes with anxiety. And these emotions, these core emotions, create an emotional and also a hormonal release in our bodies and also neurotransmitter release. And these are chemicals that the body produces when you're in pain. And one of the biggest things to say about this subject is a lot of the time, it's unconscious. So you're not even aware that you're fearful of the pain. And therefore, they need to bring the subject up to, to make it more known and therefore to address it. I was really encouraged by two physiotherapists that I've talked to in the last 12 months or so who have embraced this approach. One was in Boulder, Colorado, and the other was in Waco or Waco in Texas, both of which are embracing this mind-body connection with movement. So embracing the fear and moving anyway. But that's easy if you're a therapist and you've got the education behind you. But what about you tonight or today watching this? What can you do to embrace the fear to help you in your pain journey? Well, the first thing is to be aware that there is a conflict going on. It's called the cycle of pain or the conflict of the cycle of pain. I first heard of this in my education in Boston last year where they talked about the cycle of pain, where pain breeds fear, which then breeds more pain. And the basic cycle doesn't stop. And again, I said, this is an unconscious awareness for most people. And we've got to break the cycle, break it first by awareness, and then moving on to do something about it. And you know, for, for you tonight, if you've got chronic pain, maybe you're sitting there or lying there listening to this, what I encourage you to do is just embrace it, be there with it, like maybe, a friend that's not helpful too much, maybe on one day, maybe annoying you. What do you do? You can't just throw your friends away. No, you just sit and be with the pain. Friends are wonderful. We need them. And just like pain, we've got to sit there and just be with it. And sometimes that doesn't even occur to people. You know, they just want to get rid of it. You know, I hate this pain or I wish it would go away. And they do all their activities to get rid of it. They get distracted. And these approaches are appropriate. But first, I encourage you just embrace it. Just be with it. You could be walking, you could be sitting, you could be watching a show and you feel low back pain. Just sit or be with the pain first. Second thing, accept it. It's not gonna go away. It's not gonna magically vanish. It's been there for a long time. It's likely gonna be there for a while. Accept it wholeheartedly. And what comes with that is no judgment. One of the core issues of mindfulness, which is an essential practice, as you live with chronic pain, acceptance and no judgment. Now you may find yourself thinking to yourself, oh, I wish this would go away. Or, oh, this pain is awful and, you know, it just keeps getting worse. And it's so easy for us to put an attachment to it, you know, a description or an emotion, a negative emotion. This pain is awful. And a better approach is just to state the facts. This pain is here right now. This pain has come on this morning, but it'll likely go away later on the day because that's usually what happens. Or this is the worst time of the day for me. And if this is the worst time, then there'll be a better time. And therefore it will improve. And try and just bring your thoughts to the neutral. Don't judge it. At the core level of pain on any subject, I would like to challenge you to say, it's not bad, it's certainly not good, but it's neutral. Pain is pain. And when we can be neutral and have no judgment around this subject, which may be difficult, to accept, but when we can do this, we open up the door of healing because we remove the mental attachment to it. And when we get mentally attached with judgment, our limbic system in the brain kind of goes round and round like a merry-go-round and it doesn't stop. We must accept and have no judgment if we're gonna be successful in this journey. And the next thing on the journey with this situation is a choice. A choice for right now. You know, I just listened to some education this week and my educator was talking about sound vibration and, and, and how she's learned that over all the years, over 20 years with patients, she finds them either living in the past or living in the future. You know, we often get depressed about the past and worry about the future. When really, we need to center ourselves into our body and be present in the now. And we must choose to be in the present moment now. And when you think about it, there is only the now because the future 
never exists and the past is always gone and in a state of mindfulness you're just there you're present accepting not judging but it's a choice and we must choose it often we're unconscious in this often we're busy busy but just bring presence to whatever you're doing you could be going for a walk you could be doing the dishes you could be having an apple you could be having a conversation with your loved one just be present 100 100 just be present with whatever you're doing eating food walking to the bathroom lying in bed just be present and have a choice in this embracing the fear and the last thing is let's move on with the fear no sorry <laughs> move on without the fear embrace the fear and then move on without it leave it behind you don't need it it's a mental construct that we need to move away from and i encourage you to move away from fear towards love because at the core emotions in our human existence there is fear and love and we live by love in our hearts without fear from the mind then we will make more progress so i hope you enjoyed that please leave a comment what are some subjects you would like covered in these live streams i've really enjoyed tonight it's been a great subject and um i really look forward to the next one so have a great day and um, I wish you all the best on this journey of embracing fear and moving towards love. And I know that you can make progress in this because if I can do it, my patients can do it. So can you. So I wish all the best and leave a comment. I look forward to the next time that we share live here on Instagram and Facebook. All the very best.